package in your handmade soaps with wrapping paper. Um, your, your options are endless really when using wrapping paper as a packaging material. Um, so many different colours and designs available. Um, they really do make a great eye-catching display. Um, the only thing, um, the only downside I would say is you can't really use it directly on top of melt and pour soap um, as it will go a bit sticky um, because the soap attracts the moisture from the air. Um, but you can always um, seal with um, cellophane first, a cellophane wrap or a shrink wrap um, and then cover with the paper. Um, cold processed soap is absolutely fine. Um, and it really does give you a lovely surface for um, attaching your labelling um, and decorating. When choosing wrapping paper as your packaging material for your handmade soaps, choosing the paper is the funny easy part. Um, it's quite often how to then present your soaps um, after they're wrapped. Um, so I'm going to talk you through a couple of different ways that you can use labelling and wrap around labelling different ribbons and twines um, to present your soaps. So firstly, um, I'm going to be wrapping um, some melt and pour soap. Now with wrapping paper uh, being quite thin, um, melt and pour soap is, is well known to attract any moisture in the air. So um, I would advise to pre-wrap in a cellophane wrap um, before packaging in the paper. Um, this will save um, the paper going um, soggy and wet um, over time. So, so firstly, um, how to get the right size piece of paper is quite important. Um, you want the soap to be able to stand up after it's wrapped. So um, you need to be using the minimal amount of paper that you can. So how I do this is I start at the end of the paper. Now you need enough length to cover the bottom the back and the top um, and that should give you um, the ideal amount um, for your folds with no excess. Um, for the length again um, you need the side, the back, the side, the front and then I go aside again. So I would be cutting off about that much of this paper just to give you a rough idea so that you know that any excess um, is cut neatly before you wrap. So start by placing in the middle and then we just simply wrap over as you would with any other um, parcel or present and secure with tape. I would advise that if you didn't want to use the plastic tape um, to add an inch all around the size of the paper um, because the folds will then give you enough to be able to um, be able to be secured with um, twine or ribbon. Um, it may not be able to stand up as well um, but if you can achieve still um, the tight corners so but it's just easier um, to do it with minimal amount of paper. So to get the neat bottom I like to push in the sides and then fold the top and the bottom, making sure that the, the second flap is on the um, on the back of the soap. So then turn around and we do the same with the top. So it makes it a lot more easier when there's not when there's no extra paper to secure. Um, See, so it gives you a nice um, formal fold um, and the soap is able to stand up easily. So once you have the soap wrapped, like I say, this is where um, people come a bit unstuck because um, your customers are going to need to know what's inside um, the packaging. So as you can see, there's many different ways um, that you can do this. Um, just a simple label at the front, um, just like here. Um, you can print your um, your branding and what soap it is. Um, very, very simple, clean look um, with just a label. Your ingredients labelling can still um, go on the back. Um, just gives a nice, clean look. Um, we also like to use the wraparound labels. Um, very convenient. Um, you can purchase these already um, online. Um, and then you can still 
add your ingredients labeling at the back once it's secured around the soap. Um, you can also design um, your own wraparound labels, very easy to do. Um, you can have your branding and the soap and you can even um, have your ingredients already printed on, on the edges so that it's there when it's secured together. It's another great idea. And it's just a simple, clean look. Um, other ways you would like to um, decorate um, or add to your soaps, um, just a simple bit of twine um, just wrapped around. It still allows your labelling to be seen at the front. Um, it gives a nice, nice rustic look. Um, I'd like to wrap it around a couple of times and then just secure at the back. I've done that one a bit short there, but it gives you an idea of how that look can be achieved. And then taking a label, um, again, met, you can get so many different options of labels online. Um, you can print them yourself or have them printed ready for you. But again, adding a label just finishes off, off the look. Um, it's as simple as that, really. If you would like to use ribbon in around your soaps, you would simply take a length of ribbon and wrap around the front of the soap, turn it over to the back and twist over themselves, bring back round to the front. Now I like to secure the ends of my ribbon underneath that first wrap around, it just stops it moving, um, it just makes it easier. So then you would continue to tie your bow. quite fiddly but the look at the end is worth it. So take one loop over. Now it's quite tricky sometimes to get that nice looking bow so you would normally find a, a length of ribbon underneath one of the loops. I always like to bring that over to the front it just makes it sit nicer. And then just trim off, trim off the ends, like so. Now you can either thread or through um, a tag that you could um, have printed. Um, the hand stamps that are available that you could have done with your branding, um, like, like branding on, um, they look fantastic. Um, or you could um, stick a label on top of the tag um, with the details on and just thread it through as you're making the bow. Otherwise, you can take the labels again and they sit quite nicely underneath your bow. And again, your branding label and the soap name underneath. Um, it makes it um, look like um, a gift and a customer may come, come along and think, um, in the lines of gift giving um, as well as purchasing for themselves.